Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we're playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and we are going to be talking about the renewal Supernova Plus Plus Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 deals that just dropped yesterday in Global for Sora, Riku, and Kairi. Now we will not be talking about the medals because we already did our analysis on them and the medals have not changed between the previous banner and now. If you want to hear about the medals, go ahead and hop into the last video. I did put timestamps for each single medal in the description to lead you to where you want to be. This video will specifically be talking about the banner and how it went from being the second to worst banner of all time, being a non-mercy falling price, going to the best banner of all time, pretty much being the supernova deal with a falling price, and there's a mercy involved. So it went from being the second worst to being the best. That's what this video is going to be about. So as always, we are going to do our banner analysis. We'll talk about the draw odds. And finally, my thoughts and recommendations on who I think should pull from this banner. So first things first, with any banner, no matter how great the banner is, you always want to see how long you have to decide if you want to pull. Now, this is kind of weird because for any free-to-play player, you have until September 15th. So I would recommend waiting until the last day as always, weighing out everything that's available, and then deciding if you want to pull. Remember, we are guaranteed at least roughly around six other banners. Unless they make it a mixed mercy, we have a lot more banners coming down the line that we are aware of. We know there is going to be a new banner for... Terra, Ventus, Aqua, and then Roxas, Lee, and Xion. We don't know if it's going to be Mixed Mercy. We don't know if they're all going to be separate, but we do know they're coming. And being able to analyze those, I would do that before deciding if you want to spend all your jewels. Because no matter how great a banner is, it still costs jewels. And remember that jewels are the best value item in the entirety of the game. So if you're free to play, I would recommend waiting until September 15th. The trade-off is that if you are VIP, I would set myself to... Sunday being the last day to decide and the reason behind that is because of the Moogle shop sale So remember in the Moogle shop if you bought VIP for this week You can buy an infinite number of the damaging traits you can buy ground enemy defense minus 60 aerial extra attack strength and damage and rates as many times as you want This is relevant because any medals that you get from the supernova deal or I'm sorry the supernova plus plus illustrated kingdom hearts 3 deal you can trade them right away and remember what I say about traits, that is the difference between an A-class medal and an S-class medal. So the fact that you can just use this an infinite number of times is fantastic, and I would set my date or my deadline as Sunday if you are a VIP to decide if you want to pull. Now, going back to the banner, it is a falling price deal. So what that means is that the first pull is going to cost you 2,700 jewels. The second pull is going to cost you 2,200. The third pull costs you 2,100. The fourth pull costs you 2,000. And then the fifth pull onwards costs you 1,900 or 1,900 jewels, which is a really cheap deal considering all the things that you're getting. In terms of the medals you get from every single pull, you get nine Supernova Plus or better medals. That means they literally took out all the random garbage that we didn't want. So the random tier sevens, the random tier threes, the random five stars, those are all gone. Remember that the normal format is we get three Kingdom Hearts three medals and then six five star or higher. They removed all of that and we're just like, you know what? Let's just give it all Supernovas. And remember, the, we did have the Supernova Plus deal not too long ago and people just pulled on that for fun and got good medals. And then they traded them with the trade sale from this week. So the fact that they have this in a falling price is amazing. The trade-off is that one, for some reason, they never ever ever reprinted Supernova Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Xion A. I don't know why. That's the one where Xion's wearing the hood. I think it looks awesome. I really don't know why they never reprinted it. Go figure. Um, and then number two, there are no Renovas in this banner. So you cannot get Supernova Plus Plus Kingdom Hearts 3 Terra, Aqua, Ventus, the combination TVA medal, or the Kingdom Hearts 3 Xion that renews reverse medals you cannot get those in here we do kind of have a heads up that they are going to re-release them somewhere down the line we're not really sure when but we do know that they are going to be re-released and that's probably why they are not in these banners looking at the rest of the stuff you get you get one trait medal for the banner that you're pulling from so for example if i'm pulling for kairi i get kairi traits if i pull for riku i get riku traits if i pull for sora i get sora traits you get 10 vip coins with every single pull and that's actually pretty important to pay attention to because number one you can get and we'll talk about this more in depth a little bit later you can get the other two medals in the third banner so for example if i'm pulling for kairi there's a chance for me to get riku there's a chance for me to get sora uh, the vip coins are important because remember you can use them on any metal that is out right now so for example if we pulled for the Kairi and we got VIP coins and then we had traits for Kairi, we get perfect traits with Kairi from the free tra traits we got from pulling from the banner. 
and then we just randomly ran to a Sora as we were pulling for Kyrie. Then you just use your VIP coins, use them on the Sora avatar board, and then you get the traits for Sora. So it's super awesome that uh, you get that VIP coin versatility where you get to choose what you want to spend those VIP coins on. It's awesome, again, just because you can pull from one banner, but get traits for another banner. That's just good versatility. The other thing that I want you to note about your VIP coins is that we are going to get a limited VIP board soon. It is likely going to be for Supernova Plus Plus Terra Ventus Aqua, the Renova medal for upright metals. So if we look at the regarding metals adjustment notice, we see right here, small fine print, all metals will be made available in returning draw and limited VIP boards. Now, we've only had these limited VIP boards a few times in the past. We had it with Final Fantasy Record Keeper Sephiroth. We had it in the past with the TVA medal. So likely, they are going to release this Supernova Plus Plus Terra Ven and Aqua, which was originally a VIP coin board. They're probably going to do the same thing again. So if you have VIP coins, I would hold on to them until this banner, the banner for the Renovas, drops, because then you can see, okay, if I save all my VIP coins, I can just get the TVA medal. And remember that the TVA medal renews all upright medals, which is just generally a good thing to have. The more Renovas that you have up to two, it's always a good thing to have. So you can either use your VIP coins on a banner. Let's just say you got the Sora randomly. You got VIP coins from Kyrie. Get traits for the Sora. Or you can hold off until that limited VIP board comes and then use those VIP coins on that board. Super sweet versatility right there. Looking at the rest of the stuff, you get three gems based on the banner that you pull from. So if you pull from Kyrie, you're getting magic gems. If you pull from Riku, you're getting power gems. And then if you pull for Sora, you are getting speed gems. Lastly, about the banner, it is now a 10 pull mercy. That means it's going to cost you 20,400 jewels to guarantee a medal. I know this is higher than our general 15,000 in order to do a 5 pull mercy, but you get so much more with this banner that it warrants spending that extra 5,400 jewels for the mercy. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the draw odds with the first thing I want to note is that they literally fixed everything I criticized about the draw odds before right down to the T. So let's talk about the three things that they updated that I criticized last time. Number one, the draw odds for the featured metal are higher than any of the other tier 10s you can get from this banner. So we clicked on the draw odds for Sora. The chances of you getting the Sora early as one of the random Supernova Plus medals is times two the amount in comparison to any other tier 10. So if we look at these other tier 10s, it's half the chance. Granted, once you get to the tier 8s, the chances are higher for the tier 8s. But the point is that out of all the tier 10s, which is pretty much the medals that you want, there is a two times chance to get the featured medal, which is awesome. That was one of the things that we mentioned. The second thing is that within the pool, they included all three of the banner medals. So when you pull for Sora, you can now get Riku or you can get Kairi. If you pull for Kairi, you can get Sora or you can get Riku. So that was one of my main criticisms is that they didn't include the other two medals in the third banner because doing that increases your odds of getting something that you care about. So in this case, we now have all three medals available in all three banners, meaning that Again, you just increase the odds of getting something that you want, and that's always favorable. The last thing that they fixed that I talked about, the draw odds, that was kind of a bummer, was that you would be getting essentially just the featured medals is all you cared about. But now the pool of medals is now expanded to pretty much just supernova medals. That means that whatever you get, you're getting some sort of value out of it. Even if you get like all tier eights, you're getting great subslot value. You are getting great draw points value. So they removed all the random garbage tier fours, tier fives, tier sevens, and now you're getting all high value items that you can at the very least repurpose into other things like draw points. So those were my three big criticisms that they completely addressed with this renewal. Otherwise, the only thing I want you to know about your draw odds is that the draw odds for the worst metals are higher than the better metals. So all of the most recent tier 10s have this 0.33905 plus the boosted chance. But when we look at the tier 8s and such, they just have an inherently higher chance. I think it's like by times 3 or times 4. So there's like a times 4 chance to get Supernova plus Sephiroth who isn't as good. But again, you can just sell your tier 8s for draw points or you can just equip them for subslots. Like it's a lot of fantastic value. 
So to illustrate the importance of them changing the draw odds and changing the factors of the banner, we went ahead and did some more math. So this is comparing the previous banner, which was a falling price non-mercy deal compared to this banner, which is pretty much a supernova plus deal with falling price and a mercy involved. So if we look at the draw odds of getting the featured metal, so in the previous banner, the only metal that you cared about was the one that you were pulling for. So for example, if you were pulling from the Kyrie banner, the only metal you cared about getting, the featured metal, was just the Kyrie. You could not get the Sora and you could not get the Riku. The chances of you getting that metal within one draw in the previous banner was 1.63% chance. Now with this new Supernova Plus deal, again, they increased the odds of the featured metal and they included the other two metals in any of the other banners so for example in the Kyrie banner we could get Sora we could get Riku and that increases the chances of getting one of the featured metals which are pretty much the metals that you want so after factoring in for the increased chances and the other two metals being added in there is now a 12.69 percent chance that you can get any one of those three metals per pull that means literally one every 10 people on their first pull is going to get one of the illustrated medals which is absolutely amazing statistics when we look at the chances of getting the featured medal or the medal that you want within 10 pulls in the previous banner that was non-mercy falling price it was a 15.11 percent chance at 10 pulls now with this renewal banner it's a hundred percent chance it is guaranteed because it's a mercy so if i'm pulling for Kyrie in the previous banner i pulled 13 times and didn't get her because i was looking at like a 15 to 17 percent chance now if i pulled 13 times i would definitely get her plus some additional pulls which is awesome when we look at the chances of getting additional featured medals and it says it at 10 pulls, I mean actually before 10 pulls, the chances of you getting either the Illustrated Kingdom Hearts 3 Sora, Riku, or Kairi before the Mercy pull is actually 70.53% chance. That means 7 out of 10 people by their Mercy pull should have already gotten an additional Kingdom Hearts 3 Illustrated Sora, Riku, or Kairi. And those are just amazing draw odds, and that's why I really emphasize the draw odds when it comes to banners. So what are my thoughts and recommendations on this banner? They fixed like almost everything that I criticized about this banner. It is an amazing banner. It is literally the best banner format we have ever seen, giving you only high tiered medals, only good things that you can repurpose. They increase the chances of you getting what you want. It's fantastic. So remember, it's falling price. And we already addressed the whole, well, a regular 5 pole mercy is 15 thousand jewels whereas this mercy is 2400 that's 5000 more 5400 more jewels but you're getting all supernovas you are getting subslot material you are getting traits you're guaranteed a mercy there's so much built into this in comparison to our standard 5 pole mercy where the only thing you cared about was the feature metal everything else was being sold or subslotted uh so it is still a mercy so even if you don't need any of the other things if you only want the featured metal you can still get it. It's not like this is a Supernova Plus deal where they just randomly included the new medals. You still mercy for the medals. Even if you like get all these random tier 10s, all these random tier 9s that you don't need or care about, at the very least, you know at the end of the road, you're guaranteeing the medal that you want. It is a mercy, so that's always a good thing. Remember, all the Novas, all the Supernovas, or all the, sorry, all the medals are Supernova, meaning that you're not just getting random garbage. You could potentially be getting the best PvP medals in the game, like Kingdom Hearts 3 Vanitas or Strike Form Sora. Almost half the medals that you get from the banner are also self-buffing, meaning that if you can get a single self-buffing medal as a new player, that's an awesome thing. Being able to get medals that can take care of themselves right off the bat is such a good deal. So I pretty much recommend almost near everyone especially beginners pull from this if you want one of these medals again you have a mercy it's always good to have a mercy because you know what lies at the end of the line also along the way as you're pulling you're getting a crazy ton of tier eight or higher medals and that's fantastic for sub slots because even if you have to mercy the metal all the way you're getting 89 sub slot materials if you're new you pretty much start out with none and then at the end of a mercy here you get 89 that are tier 8 or higher. Let's just say you're super de duper unlucky and all the medals you get that aren't the featured medal are tier 8s. So 89 tier 8 alone is a plus 2.225 subslot multiplier. And remember from my last video, we could pretty much get to almost the end of the big bonus challenge or the Sephiroth challenge. I believe we went as high as a 3.5 and the fact that from just one mercy alone, you are two thirds the way there is absolutely amazing.
even if you're a veteran, you're still getting an absurd amount of draw points. So let's just say all of your sub slots are filled with tier 10s. Awesome. Anything that you get that is not needed for some sort of awesome special attack, such as Kingdom Hearts 3 Vanitas, or you don't need it for PvP, such as Strike Form Sora, you just sell it and you get draw points. And then the draw points banner just got updated to pretty much every single medal prior to, I believe, last month. So you get a chance at a boosted one of those medals like isn't that absolutely amazing that even if you're a veteran you can still get value out of this by selling all the stuff you don't need and then potentially getting a boosted copy from the draw points banner let's go ahead and take a look at it right down there so that is good for veterans that is good for beginners especially vip i think should pull so let's just say you're a beginner you just started this game you bought vip for this week you have enough jewels to do a mercy so what you can do is you can literally pull from this banner get an amazing set of tier 10s and then in the moogle shop just trade them to be perfect immediately like let's just go to one of my setups as an example if we go to my counterpoint which is one of my best setups as of right now so minus the supernova renew let's just say we got rid of the supernova renew right let's just say we put this here and then this is technically a free metal if you can get it you put that there let's actually no let's actually remove this let's just put elsa just as an example, all of these medals can be obtained right now from the from the banner that's out, the re the renewal banner. And then it's just like, all right, well, what makes this setup good is the traits, because traits again bring medals from that A class tier to that S class tier. The fact that you can get these medals in the banner right now and pretty much give them all these traits right now can bring you from a beginner, literally level one, to having a setup of someone who is level. 668 immediately literally within the same week so it's an amazing catch-up for beginners that bought vip because you can have veteran level setups right off the bat just right off the bat no consequences whatsoever and that's absolutely insane remember that the next banners will be interesting because they have to somehow make us want to pull for them they have to pretty much be like the same format as this if not better so let's just say they like to introduce things with the TVA. It's been shown in the past that they like to introduce new mechanics when it comes to the TVA medals. Maybe the TVA medals are going to be the first tier 11s. And then the other medals you get are all going to be supernova. Let's literally just say it's the exact same format as the medals and the banners that we have right now. Except instead of Sora, Riku, and Kairi, we would be getting uh, Terra, or I'm sorry, Ventus, Terra, Aqua. And they'd be tier 11s. Like, they have to follow these banners up with amazing banners. Otherwise, we're just going to be disappointed for the rest of Anniversary. So, just keep that in mind. We are getting new banners. We know these medals are coming out. We don't know the format right now. Um, and you can always, always, always wait until the last day. Simply because we know that there are other things coming out. Again, if you're VIP, I would set the deadline to Sunday while you can still trade all of the medals. And again, go from that beginner level 1 barely anything set up to being veteran level setup with the only thing you're really missing at that point is going to be the multipliers that you get from collecting gems upgrading your keyblades things like that so this is an amazing deal absolutely amazing and there was quite a few things that uh that they improved upon that i think were definitely worth mentioning that i mentioned in the video but as always if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and i'd be happy to answer when i have the time if you'd like to join my discord get some off hours help the link is right underneath the screen just type that into your url and you should be good to go but that's all for now thank you all so much for watching and as always until next time take it easy